Welcome back guys, it's Maury here and on today's video we are going to be progressing on the way to unlocking Atomic on the Vanguard weapon, specifically snipers today and I'm going to show you how to get long shot kills in Warzone, you don't need to buy Vanguard to do this, in Warzone specifically how to get them really really easy and just make that grind process much easier on you. Let's dive in. First thing you guys are going to want to do is go to airfield because there is the most people possible at airfield in plunder you're going to want to queue up on your own so if you die you respawn in the same location that you died now we have to get kills with either 50 meters or more now if i look at this tower for example and i put a pin there you can see it is 169 meters away we don't need to shoot that's 100 meters more than we need that's 120 meters more than we need to be exact so this guy right here, for example, Contact if I pin him, is 78 meters. So this will be a long shot if I hit the shot, which I don't because I suck. What you're going to want to do is go ghost so you can sit up here in the mountains and people don't really realize where you are. See, I've still got the pin there. I know that I'm 50 meters, so if I'm moving around, I don't want to get any closer than that just in case we get back in this fight. So you basically want to pin a distance and find, get as close as possible because it makes the shot easier to hit. If I am trying to hit shots on this 170 meter distance, I'm gonna factor in bullet drop and all sorts of stuff. This guy's way further than we need. Now the down is not the shot that counts. So you could, if you wanted to technically down someone like I just did, then run to the distance and finish the kill because it's actually when you get the kill not you know you, like if you down someone at 50 meters but then you run closer it's not going to count when you finish them you have to they have to die more than 50 meters away from you is what i'm trying to say so what i would suggest is trying to get somewhere of a decent height now there is a lot of guys going in these bushes right here but this is a good spot i'm currently 50 meters out so if i wanted to shoot this building i'm already far enough out to get long shots however i'm not at a high enough elevation to see them they have height advantage on me so you do want to factor in finding the best spot possible that has height advantage on what you're trying to shoot so for example right now if i'm trying to shoot someone i'm at least at the same level and you just want to find a spot that is good that you think you can get a few kills at and then basically just go for your shots from there a little bit of a heartbeat check no one up here nice but it's just a ridiculous distance just literally check this my next tip would be when you die to someone like that you know exactly where they are i know there is a guy right here in fact i know there's two guys because they just killed me so if i get to a distance that I, like, see I've already pinned it. I can get to a distance of 50 meters or more. And then I try and get in a decent location in order to actually snipe these guys. Now see, I'm too close to the pin technically. So I'm gonna run back over here. I'm trying to get to a decent height so I can actually see them. There he is right there. There's one, as I said. It doesn't count. If I run closer to them right now, it's not going to count. Like, if I run all the way up here, right? And I just keep downing these guys. It's not going to actually count because I've downed them from too close. <laughs> oh, that sounded like Dr. Hibbard then. This will be a long shot, I would think, if I hit my shot. Uh, that was not a long shot. Okay, and that was... Let's pin his stuff. 33 meters. So, as you see, you really got to try and find a spot that basically puts you in the best position possible to get kills. As you guys saw, I was 50 meters away when I sniped these guys, but I couldn't finish the kills because they were on a team without going closer. Now they've come back to kill me. There he is. And I'm dead. That is the other thing. If you kill people in plunder, typically they will come back and kill you. So you need to kind of factor that in a little bit. So this is not a good spot to go for kills on people because there's nowhere high enough for you to finish your kills. 
you could go this tower, for example, and shoot down on the white building, but you're going to have people landing on you all the time. Like, right now... That guy, for example, he's going for kills, but I'm landing on him, and every time I turn my back, there's going to be someone like this flying in from this location. However, this is a good spot to get... 50 or more meter kills so playing in an area that is reasonably flat is probably the easiest thing that you can do because you can actually land on a rooftop and create the height so for example i see the guy right there i'm going to land on this rooftop here he's hopefully going to run towards the car maybe not but that would create the distance for me there we go that's a long shot that's double the distance that i need you just want to create the Enemy distance away from people. Often there will be Enemy people out here in these nearby. fields. So hanging on these can be good. Provided you don't get sniped by people like this guy. Enemy soldier nearby. I see this guy coming up. Now, look, I've just downed him. If he didn't kill himself, I could have run back another 20 meters, then finished that kill, and it would have counted as a long shot. Even though when I originally downed him, it was not a long shot. Another tip too is if he kills himself right now, I'm further than 50 meters out, it will count as a long shot kill. This guy's just killed me, and I know that he's there. I've just seen someone a bit closer. See, he's just killed himself, and I got the long shot kill. I've downed this guy. I'm actually going to run away from him now, because I don't think I'm 50 meters. And I'm just going to see if he kills himself. If he doesn't, it probably means his teammate is close enough to res. So I'm going to circle back because he's not killing himself. But you initially want to run back because then you can create the distance, right? That was 68 meters. Still didn't get the kill on the other guy. He's here still. So now I can actually... I was going to say I could run away and watch him and bait him basically until he bleeds out. Had I kept running away... He would have bled out, that would have counted as a long shot kill, but at the same time, you know, you run the risk of him getting back up. I can see another guy here. Fuck you, buddy. There you go, long shot kill, 56 meters. Check the tower, check the tower. Guy gliding in right now. This is not good. But there he is. Ooh. Got me right in the kaniki. All right, guys, so this is the loadout that I was using if you wanted to see which three-line loadout I was specifically using. However, you know, you can do this with any sniper. This is the challenge to get long shot kills. This is how we'd go about getting them in Plunder, in Warzone, to complete it without having to buy Vanguard, without having to buy Black Ops, without having to buy Modern Warfare. This is how you can do it. That's it for this video, guys. If you enjoyed this one and you want to see future content like this, consider subscribing if you aren't already. And until next time, guys, keep gaming.